Okay, fourth and final one of setting up the teeth, and this is positioning the lower anterior teeth. Can be a little bit tricky this one. Uh, you're aiming to fill the gap now in between the, the premolars. So there's often a lot of uh, chopping and changing between the size of the teeth. You can see these are uh, number sevens, B2s, the, the They're shape. special. <laughs> they are special. Um, and you end up doing lots of funny things like leaving little spaces between teeth or adding an extra central incisor in or trying to take the distal off your canines or whatever to try and... Lumps out of teeth, yeah. Yeah, get them all to, to push into position. And we seem to end up grinding the lower anteriors, which are, which are quite small anyway, and quite fiddly. So, so you're starting on the midline? Yep. Most most patients tend to want the midline of the upper and lowers to coincide. So most patients tend to like the uh, the centre lines coinciding, although in natural teeth they often don't. Um, but it's one of the first things they notice if they don't. So if we have to squeeze in a, an extra incisor, they, they soon notice. So you're going to shunt yours across a bit there, and just wiggle him over. Yeah, you, you never know whether it's going to work until you get the, the final one in. So We're just looking at getting um, a millimetre of uh, overjet and overbite on these, so that when we go into a protrusive excursion or a lateral excursion, they'll contact with the upper, the upper teeth uh, correctly. So the patient will be able to bite the fingernails as normal. If they didn't, they'd have a gap at the front and they'd be useless with cucumber sandwiches. Yeah, you get all the bread and no cucumber. Okay, looking, looking good. Just so this is where they're very light, they do seem to not stick down very well, so you have to get quite uh, quite delicately with the knife here. Um, and the pin always seems to be in the wrong place. Of course. Yeah. So, faffing about with these a bit. This is usually where I burn my finger, because you're holding the teeth and poking it with a knife. So. So that's the two incisors just about right. With these two you keep them uh, vertical. Yeah. And it's they are asymmetric aren't they, the, the, unlike the twos which are more fan shaped. That's right, yeah. So, um, and it's very easy to muddle them up if you put them all down on the table. So yeah, yeah. Best to keep them on yeah, the card keep them on the card. the first yeah. time, you're not very yeah. good at spotting the difference. <laughs> So just there, we went into the lateral excursion, and we were just looking for that that uh, lateral lower incisor to contact with the upper lateral incisor. Didn't quite, so I just tweaked it up a bit. I'm going to get the other one in before we carry on much further. Sometimes you better just get them in and let the wax cool down a little bit, and then just adjust them once they're in place. And you're looking quite handy for the canines to fit quite nicely this time round, aren't you? Yeah, it all seems to be working out a little bit too well. <laughs> yeah, here we go then, this is the moment of truth. Again with the lower canine, but a bit like the upper, you want it nice and vertical. Sometimes you tend to be tilting them just to get them uh, to, to make up the space or to fit in the gap. Hopefully you want them. You practiced oh, before you did this one, didn't you? <laughs> you would have thought so, wouldn't you? But chances are that just worked out perfectly. Excellent. Oh, yeah. It's just that you could there. see it, but it, it looks good, yeah. You'll see it again in a minute, I think. Just lifting that up a bit so we get the contact when we go laterally. The last tooth then in the arch. Just dropping in. From experience, you're making this an look annoyingly easy. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it did go well, this one. Yeah. I was quite surprised. Yeah. There we are. And 
into the into the excursions now. Now you can see how we're contacting there. It was just a little bit light on the anterior, so we're just going to tweak them up a little bit. There's always a lot of fiddling at this stage just to get things lined up nicely, yeah. make sure the gaps even in between them and that they're rotated to the right angle. And it's one of those things that you can go on doing forever, really. Yeah, it's quite relaxing to, to do. You can sit there and fiddle away with, with the teeth. Okay, still a bit of light on those uh, anteriors there. Yeah. Something just pulling it away. But that's not bad for a try in, really. Let's see the centrals were contacting, we went into the protrusive yeah. excursion there. So, just having that canine up a little bit more. Just to try and create the contact. The problem is if you only have contacts on one or two teeth, is that the lower denture tends to flick up because all the, yeah. all the loads going onto that, that part of the denture. So you're trying to make it, the contacts as even as possible over as many teeth as possible. Okay, so now I'm just going to go around and sort the wax work out around all those teeth. And in the next podcast you'll see us waxing it up and contouring. So that's it. Job done. Excellent.